This is the schematic of uh, the Kinder Morgan family of companies, uh, and you can see we have a, 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 a large group of, uh, of uh, assets here. We have uh, over $100 billion in enterprise value that's represented by, uh, by these companies. And the assets are primarily uh, fee-based assets that produce a substantial amount of cash flow. Those assets are primarily held at our two MLPs, which is uh, EPB and uh, KMP up here. And then we have four securities that give investors different ways of participating in the value that's created uh, by that set of assets. Uh, KMP, uh, about $5.6 billion segment EBITDA, that's this year, diverse asset base, uh, about a 6.6% yield, 5 to 6% growth. EPB is about $1.2 billion in, uh, in segment uh, uh, EBITDA, um, about 7.25% yield, uh, just 2% growth showing for 2014, but on a longer-term basis, 5 to 6%. KMR, which is the economic equivalent here of KMP, it receives uh, its distributions in terms of shares in terms, uh, instead of additional cash. Um, so it's the economic equivalent of KMP, uh, but you don't have K1s with it. You don't have UBTI issues. It's easier for institutions, pensions, and others uh, to earn. It has a, to own. It has another aspect to it, which is that it helps raise capital for KMP's capital program. So KMP generates the cash that covers those distributions in shares, and so it's like an equity raising program. Uh, that program by itself for this year was about $650 million of, of our equity raise. And you combine that with our ATM, which I think through the first three quarters was about $800 million. And you can see that just on an ongoing basis, uh, we can raise a substantial amount of uh, capital for our program. And then KMI uh, has the GP incentive uh, distribution rights uh, along with ownership interests uh, in uh, the MLPs and uh, it'll produce over $1.6 billion worth of cash flow. It produces that cash, and then it distributes it $1.60 uh, a unit this year. Uh, it's trading right now at about a 4.8% yield and 9 to 10% on kind of a long-term growth target basis. So when you look at all of these, you're looking at securities that are on top of a diversified asset base with nice growth, a good yield, and double-digit overall return.